sweet. I think it's time that this goes right there. So I'm going to run to the store, get the bolts for the uh, mounts. This is my iPod. Flip the frame over, put the two front and the two rear hockey pucks in. I'm going to have to make the middle ones. Um, so the grinding, some drilling. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing on here. Like I said, I cleaned up the edges. So it can weld to it on both sides. Um, sick of sitting in the house. Actually, I just woke up because I work second shift. So it's nice to have uh, some time. Because my battery's dead. Okay, let's get at it. Well, we're all done playing games with this thing off and on, off and on, off and on with the firewall. Everything's cleaned up and it's time to go. Got to put a little weld there, a little weld there, both sides over here. And I have uh, two spots up front, right there with a, this is actually the body, this is the floor pan. And I got it on the other side too. The bolts I had, they reach up through. Um, I had to do a, because I moved it back that inch and, uh, it was like inch and a half, I had to take the lip off of this nut so it would fit up against that tube. But, um, they're in. There's a piece of wood that goes in here and then there's something that goes over it so you're not going to see any of it. Out back, I need some longer bolts. Up front, I got to devise a nut or something. I was thinking they probably a crush collar that's threaded and something we can weld in maybe. Um, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe you could weld to a washer. But it's time. These are going to be welded. And that means the firewall is not coming off again. And again, this is the little tilt point. Cut that, and you can raise the, uh, could lean the nose, lean the firewall back and forth a little bit. Coffee stain. What the hell? About 80 years old, and uh, I've had this thing on and off this frame, this floor pan section, probably two dozen times. Well, in about five minutes, it won't be able to come off anymore. Not without destroying everything. Okay, it's uh, it's not a bad day out. Kind of cool, but a little windy. They call it spring. I don't see spring. It's my heater. You don't want to know what I paid for that thing. But it's time. This is going on. Okay, let's do it. The nature of the beast. Wouldn't you know it? I'm buzzing along. Doing okay, a little couple rusty spots, and I run out of freaking gas. I ran out of argon. Ah, uh, that's what happens. I didn't even get to touch the front, but she's going nowhere. I mean, we could hang the doors right now. This thing's wicked tight. Wicked. Oh man, I don't believe that. That is too much. Oh well, another day, another dollar. Never fails every time you turn around. Oh, need more money. More money. Little money here. Little money there. And, uh, so my new antenna. I'm out of breath because I was hanging upside down in there just about. I'm a righty, so I'm like, you know, this side's easy. This side, yeah. That's funny. These are the original. That's the original body mount on the floors of wood. I used it to space this out, eighth of an inch. The other one's right there. But, 
I think I'm just going to um, clean it up a little. Maybe just throw some brown primer on it for the hell of it. Um, it's not going nowhere. We're all done welding the inside. These tacks and all that stuff you're not going to see. Now I got, there's my floor. I got a little one inch raised. That's where the inner panels could go if I wanted to make inner panels. We'll see. I leave it wide open. But, um, just a quickie before work. I got to work in a few hours. Not even like an hour. You got that? Read it again. All right. There's my uh, mounting points on the body, mounting points on the frame. They haven't changed. There's the uh, original hole for the uh, the grill support. Uh, probably make some chain. People make chain that goes from front to rear. We'll see. My Fiero box truck e-brake, which I talk about too much because it was it was pretty cool. You think about it. The antenna on my heater core. And that's perfect to line up for my steering column. It's just a muffler clamp with a piece of 316. That's all you need. It's tacked in place. If I gotta break it off and move it. But alright, I'm gonna clean up a little and then I gotta go to work, guys. Have a good day.